Alright guys, what is up, what is up, what is up? YouTube, it's good to see you guys, man. Welcome to another video. My last few videos, one thing is for sure is that I have been really sharing or just making myself vulnerable with you guys. I've been sharing things that I've never shared with other people. I've been filming parts of my life that, to be honest, if I wasn't a vlogger or YouTuber, it would be really weird to share with anyone in general. And that's what I love about this channel is that, yes, I make these videos because I wanna help you guys, but to be honest, to give you guys a little bit of a secret, I make these videos for me. I make these videos because I need to vent my emotions, but even more than that, I just wanna be able to document my journey and hopefully that through my goals, my struggles, my difficulties, and my success, that it would be able to inspire you, motivate you, and help you keep going and getting that first job, or maybe you got laid off like me, man, but keep going anyway. So today, dudes, <laughs> this is actually something I've been thinking about for a while. What I wanna share with you guys today, after being a developer for four years, I really wanna share my four biggest regrets. And these aren't things I shared before. I share a lot of like similar things, to be honest. And you know that if you've been watching me for a while, but what I wanna share today is totally different. Maybe for except for one topic within the four things I regret, to be honest, man. So there are four regrets that I have. And to be honest, man, I really feel it. Like, you know, I've often said that I have no regrets and I don't, I really don't. But when I look back, and if I was to think of things that I would do differently, this is what I would do. So hopefully this will help you guys out. So let's go ahead. All right, so let's go to number one, dudes. The first thing I think is something that a lot of aspiring and even current developers can relate with, which is this. Imposter syndrome, but I wish that I did not allow imposter syndrome to make me who I was afraid of becoming. I was like for so many years, for such a long time, I was worried that I would become the reality of imposter syndrome, meaning that I would get exposed of being something I'm not. That a project's gonna be given to me and I'm not going to be able to finish it. And so in results, when I notice a big project coming in, I tend to like, I, I would honestly try to avoid it. Or not even just that, which is even worse is this, I would give it to a better developer. When there's a difficult project in front of me, even though I could or I should try to solve that problem or try to take on that project, as scary as it may seem, I really wish that I actually took them instead. But what prevented me from doing that in the first place was freaking imposter syndrome, dudes. And to be honest, I still feel this today, not as much though, because I failed so much, way too much, to the point that I'm not afraid to fail anymore, <laughs> in a good way though. But for so many years, I really genuinely believe that that's what stunned my growth from even even becoming a better engineer at becoming a better problem solver and I really want you guys to learn from this that yo like yo, yes imposter syndrome is there but yo don't let that define who you are don't allow it to stop you from taking risks and becoming a better developer the second regret I'm gonna share with you man all right <laughs> I've never shared this with anyone and I can't believe I'm doing it right now but I think there's something everyone needs to know and please learn from my mistake is this I allowed myself to go into debt. I mean, you have to think about this, man. Living in California, I've been struggling most of my adult life. I was kicked out of every house I've ever lived in. No one was providing for me, just me. Even my parents were struggling, so they couldn't provide for me at that time. And so I went from barely making any money on a daily basis, barely surviving, right? I went from barely making any money at all to making 45K a year just like that. I wasn't expecting to get a developer job for a year at least, and I got my first developer job in three months, which is freaking insane. And so going from just making a couple hundred dollars every two weeks to making after taxes 1300 plus every two weeks that's a heck of amount of money for myself man i've never seen that large of a paycheck in my bank it's not something i've ever seen it wasn't something i was used to and to be honest no one ever taught me how to manage money because everyone in my family almost everyone in my family never had a lot of money so no one was there to teach me how to manage my money what to do with it how to save, how to not get into debt, why you shouldn't get into debt, or if you did, how to do it the smart way. No one was there to teach me on that. So, yo, I went from like having so much money thinking like I was rich when I wasn't. So I started spending all my money and in a matter of just a few days, almost a week, almost all of my 1300 bucks was gone and thinking, all right, because everyone in the whole world knows I'm a developer now, I'm a rock star of the tech world, right? That I need to live like I am. So I started getting credit cards. Oh, I could pay off my credit cards. Oh, nice, use my credit cards like it's cash and pay it off all the time. And I started doing that. Consistently. Oh my gosh, my credit went freaking amazing. It was close to 700. I almost had a 700 credit score, right? And then so my credit kept going up and up and up. And then I had even bigger credit cards. I had a credit card that gave me thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and so I thought, you know what? Now I get my first apartment. In my first apartment, I bought my own king size bed, which 
I regret to this day now. Um, I bought a freaking heck of nice bed frame. I bought a nice couch. I bought a nice TV, which I put all on a YouTube channel and I was showing off with all of you guys. And I was doing it because I want to treat myself to something really nice. And yeah, it's nice to on YouTube. It was really for me. And like, it was so dumb, man. Thinking that, you know what, because you're a developer, you have to look like it. Just because I'm so excited having all this money, I didn't know what to do with it. It's embarrassing to just talk about. But what I want to share with you guys is just please, no matter what, don't make the mistakes I did. Don't think you need to buy all the new expensive stuff just because you have that money. Or more than anything, watch out. Don't get yourself in a credit card debt. If you do use a credit card, pay it off, but only spend what you have in your bank. Do not overspend. Trust me, man. I'm feeling it and it hurts it hurted <laughs> so like i'm i'm I, i'm done with loans man i'm done with credit cards fortunately i make a really good income so i'm able to spend cash on everything but don't make that mistake man don't make my mistake do not get into big ass debt when you don't need to all right so number three dudes the third regret that i have when i really do think about it <sighs> I know we're in a tech world where everyone talks about giving your life to code, right? Where you follow all these big Instagrammers, these big YouTubers, where they talk about how all they do is code and all they do is build these things. But I'm gonna tell you something, man, not everyone does that. And just because some really cool big influencers do it does not mean you have to do it too. I mean, I even saw something on Twitter where this developer recruiter for Blizzard was saying that if you do not code outside of work, don't even try to apply. Like don't even apply to the company. Like this person was saying, unless you live and breed code, don't apply to that company. Do not even try to get a job there. Which blew my mind away because that is a culture that we grow up in. Like when you're finally in an industry, like that's the culture you work in. Or when you're following all these influencers, these are things they talk about. But yo, not everyone does it. And I'm saying this, please, you do not need to make code your life. And, I, and the reason I'm saying this is because I did. I vlogged my life as developer. I was studying code all the time, every day. Yo, I had two amazing, beautiful girlfriends while I had this channel, man. Long relationships, like amazing women, right? But because code was taking so much of my life, to be honest, I mean, as much as I cared about them, I loved them like crazy dudes. I loved code more. And when I really think back, when I look at it, now I'm happy I'm not with them, right? They did nothing wrong, but like, when I really look back at this, like, why did I do that? I was so focused on succeeding. I was so focused on being the best the developer, to being the best developer, to the point that even my friendships with my friends, not just girlfriends, right? Actual real life friends, those friendships were starting to fade away. I wasn't as close as I used to be with my actual friends because I was so focused on succeeding. Now, there's nothing wrong with trying to succeed, but I'm just saying my personal regret is really allowing this to take my life. That is why if you guys have been following me for a while, there's a time for six months on YouTube. I barely uploaded. And if I did, it was just one video a month, maybe two videos in a month, maybe four videos in a month. It was very little. I wasn't consistent. I really didn't care. You could even talk to my homie Joshua Fluke. You could talk to Coding Face. I have messages with them on Discord telling them, yo, I plan on quitting. And this was April of this year. Like literally April of this year is when I wanted to quit. And then coronavirus happened. And I'm like, nope, maybe I shouldn't quit right now and start my own business, <laughs> right? Like I really wanted to just end all of that and focus on like myself because I just regret allowing to take my life. Life, man. And so what I'm just trying to share, man, is like, yo, if you want to succeed and do it, I'm not saying that's wrong at all, but that's just my big regret because I wasn't balancing YouTube, coding, and my relationships. If I was to go back and do it all over again, yo, it would be my relationships. Of course, as long as they don't hold me back, like, of course, like really at least doing well in my career, but relationships will come first. Coding and then YouTube. If I could do it all over again, that's what I would do, man. Don't allow code to take over your life. I and mean, if it does, I guess at the end of the day, as long as you're happy, right? All right, guys, one last thing, man. Now, all of these regrets that I had, some may seem bigger than others, but I guess now when I really look back, my biggest regret, my biggest regret thus far, after being a developer for the last four years, after finally reaching that goal of being the senior front-end developer at a company, right? My biggest regret to this day, and it's very simple, is that I wish I started sooner. I wish I believed in myself sooner. I wish that someone would have told me sooner that I could become a developer, that I do not need a degree. I always thought that I was defined by having a piece of paper or not, man. I remember literally trying to apply to so many jobs, but because I did not have a bachelor's in anything or an associate's in anything, there's so many jobs I couldn't apply to in the world outside of technology, man. And because of that, I was so discouraged even trying to succeed in anything, thinking that I needed school, but you don't. If I could go back, dude, I'd probably have a little fun though. Like right after high school, I'd probably have a little fun and like just play video games like I used to, right? Go hang out with friends and bike around, work out and all that. But by the time I was 21, 
To be honest, I wish I started learning code. Yo, I started learning code. I started coding since I was 27 years old. I am, um, I think I'm 32 years old right now. So yo, I started learning code at 27. Imagine if I started at 21, look at all the things I could have potentially accomplished. Look at all the new people I could have potentially meet, but I wasn't able to because the last seven years before learning to code, dude, I was just wasting my life thinking that that was all that I would amount to. But yo, if you're watching this video, man, don't let that be you. There's so many people who watch my videos and then three years down the line, they message me saying they wish they didn't stop. So many people. And there's also so many people that I know who kept going, got a job, who eventually got a job after three years, after two years, after a couple months. I know someone who got a job in two months. Do not allow yourself to procrastinate, yo. If I could do anything out of all the things that I regret is that I would go ahead and go back and start sooner. <sighs> anyway, dudes, I mean, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you do, um, please go ahead and leave me a like and like, if you have any comments yo about anything you might regret or things you don't want to regret Let me know below man. I literally re I read all the I can't respond to all of them But I literally read every single comment that you guys actually write so if you can let me know man Um, but yo anyway, let's thank you guys for watching this man I really appreciate it. These things are embarrassing for me to share, but I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. Love you all Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is a life world developer. I'll see you guys later Peace.